Hello again, this is Delta Climber coming to you from World Zero in Delta Climber Studios. We are here at the portal to go to the different worlds on World 5. We have pretty much finished up to World 5 and are about to go to World 6. This is a pretty colorful world here on World 5, but World 6 is also colorful. It just happens to be under the water. This is Atlantic Atoll. This is pretty much underwater, the underwater world. So we're going to take a look at the town first. If you want to call this little outpost here, we have the pet master, a swing set here so that a person could swing if they wanted to, a place for your eggs to go, I don't have any eggs at the moment. This is the upgrade station. Got dungeons here in the middle. Some more places to put your stores. The bank, where you can sell your items at. Here are some different stores. Here is the Aura chest. There's dungeons again. And in the center over here, you have the Guild Master, the Delta Climbers Guild. It's called YouTube. It is very low. Um, it's a solo player's guild. Um, right now, I'm ranking about 180 out of 200 and something. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but here's a tower portal. Here is, of course, the Halloween event. When you start to leave the little town, you have more places to put your store up. And then you have this nice underwater pathway with little bridges and lights. And down in the water, you have the critters, electric crabs, sea snakes, and so forth. Just take a short cut across. By the way, on this world, you can jump really high like you're in low gravity really high and there's some really neat little tricks like you can climb a tree not all the trees but i know this one i've climbed it many times get up here get on the top and you can jump out of the tree there's walkways going all around out here to the different places if you take this walkway to the left, it will lead you back around to where the there's a giant lava shark that is a world event boss. That large black place where we climb the tree, that's where the underwater scorpion, the whirlpool scorpion, he hangs out. There are no teleport or waystones on World 6. But if you go around, there is the one teleport that comes up here to the tower. And there is no waystone or teleport to go back from here. This is one of the few towers you just really cannot solo. The Kraken, it's a giant octopus at the end. It is undoable by one person. You have to have a team of people for multiple reasons. And later, in a later video, I'll show you uh, that. So we have underwater here. You have these spirit horses. In another video, I was thinking they may be called some type of seahorses, but they're spirit horses. And again, you can jump a long way underwater, like low gravity. I was hoping to see a whirlpool uh, out here in the field. Every once in a while, you'll see a whirlpool or the uh, whirlpool scorpion will cause them to come up. But a whirlpool, I'll show you in another video, the whirlpools can take you way up and fall safely back down to the ground. I'm going to show you good places to hunt the different things. That, that is one right there on top of that rock. It's always, always got somebody on top of it. A mage or an archer. Be 
because they can sit there and pick off those sea serpents for a long time. I mean, they just keep coming back, of course. So, wow, I didn't realize that. That is a big bunch of goo pouring out of a pipe, and that's the upgrade station. I did not realize that's what that was. And you can get up. I've been way up on top of that archway, and there's all sorts of places you can explore here. So, Squiddy and I are looking forward to other videos with you guys. There's an underwater lighthouse, it looks like. Maybe a sunken lighthouse? I don't know. So hold your breath and hope you guys make it to World 6. This is Delta Climber and Squiddy signing off. Have fun playing the game and until next time, Arrivederci!